Hi, my name is Jennifer Reynolds and I'm the council member here in the 11th district. And today I am out here in Gardenside Park with Officer Michael Jones. And I just thought that we would take this time to talk a little bit about um, Officer Jones' role and how he helps here in the 11th district. So Officer Jones is what's called a neighborhood resource officer. Can you tell us a little bit about what that is and what that means? Well, this isn't the very easiest type of position to, to define because we are very tailor-made to the communities which we serve. Uh, I'm the resource officer assigned to Cardinal Valley, and my job as a resource officer, along with all the other resource officers, is to integrate themselves as much as they can with the community they're assigned to and to be able to identify the unique problems that that neighborhood is having and to do what we can to find long-term solutions to fix the issues that neighborhood's uh, dealing with. And for us, as resource officers, we are able uh, to utilize the many resources that this city um, provides to us, and uh, we're more than happy to be out there helping. So would you say that your role is more of a preventative role um, and, and, and kind of aid role? Absolutely. Um, you know, crime is not just this, this simple defining good guy and bad guy situation. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, crime is much more complex than that. It's people that are uh, dealing with many issues in their lives, and, uh, and we're trying to find a way to bring resources to the people who need them so they can better succeed in their lives. Well, I, uh, in my role as council member, have worked very closely with the neighborhood resource officers, and this year with uh, Officer Jones, and I have found them to be uh, extremely helpful in uh, connecting with constituents and following up on um, maybe a certain issue and getting people the, the aid and the resources that they need. Uh, if I had it my way, I would have a lot more uh, neighborhood resource officers, and I, and I think uh, that's the long-term goal. And uh, do, you th do you think that your job is a lot different than uh, the average patrol officer? Overall, the heart of what we do is very much the same. We are here to serve the community. Um, the only main difference that we have is that a patrol officer is really the, the primary, their primary function is to answer, answer calls on the radio and mm -hmm. to uh, patrol the streets of which they're assigned. Uh, the difference with me is, because I'm not that primary person to get dispatched, I have a lot more time on my hands uh, to work towards integrating into my community and, and getting to know people on a more personal level. That's wonderful. Uh, well, just know that I really appreciate you. And uh, I think uh, if, we, if we have any residents out there watching, um, you know, if you need to connect with an officer about something, uh, the neighborhood resource officer is a really good person uh, to connect with. And Officer Jones has said he, he's willing to help uh, beyond Cardinal Valley as much as he's able uh, as well in the 11th district. Absolutely. Uh, what does the average day look like for you? Obviously, our main, my main function on a daily basis is to do what I can uh, to get out there and talk with the community and to continuously strengthen those, those connections that I have. Uh, I work with property owners, uh, property managers, uh, the tenants of those properties. I work with business owners and the employees of those businesses, uh, many of the homeless people that we work with in the area. Uh, there really just isn't a typical day. Um, we also, you know, in Cardinal Valley, we do deal with some women that are working in the sex trafficking industry, mm -hmm. and we work very closely with a ministry called Natalie Sisters um, that helps get these women off the streets. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, some other things we do is, you know, there's some days I go to some of the schools and I read to the kids. I go to the family care center on occasion and work with those children and, and some of the mothers that are there uh, for school. Uh, it's just the whole, all kinds of stuff that we get to do. Yeah, it's wonderful that it's, it seems like very diverse type of things you get to do. Similar to my job, you never know what the day is going to hold. It's never yes. boring, but yes. you always feel like you're making a difference. Absolutely. That's yes. wonderful. That's great. So uh, actually, I'm going to get to see what an average day looks like uh, with Officer Jones on Monday because I'm going to do my second ride along uh, with him. So that'll be a lot of fun. If he can put up with me all day, uh, then I will get to see a little more about uh, what he does. And uh, what Councilman Reynolds does not know is we will be starting that day with reading to a kindergarten class at Cardinal, Cardinal Valley Elementary. Oh, that's, that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, what 
in, in the Levitt District, uh, as you think of the Levitt District, what are some of the most common crimes that, that you see? And, and how could we maybe prevent those or help prevent them? The ongoing problem that the city faces is obviously car Mm break-ins. It it doesn't matter what neighborhood it is, car break-ins are are one of the number one things that gets talked about. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was told yesterday that last month in October, we had 38 guns stolen out of cars citywide. 38 guns stolen, that's a lot. So what I would say, number one, lock your cars. Mm -hmm. Keep your valuables out of your cars, especially your guns. Um, Another thing that we deal with is residential burglary. Uh, mm-hmm. That kind of fluctuates. It doesn't really have any any specifics, but it does fluctuate throughout the year. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, my my biggest thing, you know, as an officer, I do my job to patrol the area as well as all these other patrol officers do. We don't know your neighborhood like you do. Mm-hmm. If you see something that looks out of the ordinary, you see somebody that isn't necessarily somebody that should be in that area. Feel free to call it in and let us know. Uh, we are more than happy to investigate suspicious activity. Um, you know, we, we could use all the help we can get. Mm-hmm. Um, and since we're dealing with colder weather and the holidays coming, uh, some of the other issues we have are package theft. Uh, mm-hmm. That kind of goes along with the burglary. If you're seeing things that look suspicious, call it in. Um, and the other thing with the cold weather, people love to start their cars before they leave for work, leaving those cars unsecured and running and vehicles end up getting stolen. I would not recommend doing that and please don't. Yeah, yeah. That, I, I think it seems like uh, for a long time I've heard the most popular things are car thefts and um, burglary and things like that. So Absolutely. lock your cars and your house and all the things. Lock all the things. Yes. So <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> uh, at least it wouldn't, won't be a big target anyway, right? I mean, it's still theft even if it's your car's unlocked, right? It's still theft. Because, Absolutely. But mm-hmm. we can not be a target for someone that's quickly looking for things and stuff like that. Yes. Um, that's really good advice. And as, as residents of the area uh, that, you know, want to see a safer neighborhood, want to see a safer community, what, what can we do to, to, to help um, aid in that? Well, with you being a councilwoman and me as an officer, we, we both know that a big part of our job is funneling through complaints. Mm-hmm. And and we deal with that quite a bit. However, it's not as common uh, to see people trying to find solutions to those problems. You know, we will do what we can in, in our respective position, but I believe this is a joint effort. We as a community mm-hmm. need to come together, and we need to be that positive light in the community, uh, whichever way we see fit. And, uh, you know, a, an engaged community is a much safer community mm-hmm. and a much happier community. I, I think um, knowing your neighbors, knowing the people that live on your street. Uh, uh, understanding what's going on around you uh, all contributes to that sense of community, watching out for each other. Um, Absolutely. And, and we can work together to have a safer community. But if, if we're trying to do it on our own or uh, just, uh, you know, upset at people or things like that, uh, we might not be able to make as big a difference. Absolutely. And positive activity within a community, I find, pushes out the negative positive Very activity well. so more youth programs sports absolutely um, yes. people going out to parks walks things like that so uh, I think parks are an integral part of of our district we have uh, a lot of parks here and uh, hopefully people will utilize them and um, make them safer by utilizing them absolutely is there anything else that you would like to tell people uh, in the 11th district sure I mean I am I'm quite impressed with uh, the way the city operates. Uh, when I first started this position as a resource officer, I immediately got to networking with the many different resources that are available in this city. And, and I would just say, I, my opinion is I, I stand on the shoulders of giants in the position that I'm in. Because if it were not for the many people who saw the needs and developed these resources that are at my disposal now, my job would be very ineffective. Mm-hmm. And I'm very appreciative to the people who paved the way for me. Lexington is a wonderful city, and uh, it's an honor to to serve the city, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, thank you for being here today. Thank you for serving our community and our district, and it's a pleasure to work with you. And if you all would like more information um, about how to contact uh, Officer Jones, uh, what what would be a good way for people to contact you? Uh, My email is mjones at lexingtonpolice.ky.gov. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have through email. 
And if you need to contact me for whatever reason, you can contact me at jreynolds at lexingtonky.gov. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in today for this council comment, and we will see you next time.